beautiful souls welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Kimyana and this is the intuitive soul tribe here we talk about all things manifesting so yes law of attraction law of assumption and mental health so if those are your vibes go ahead and hit that like below comment while you're watching the video let me know what you think about it and do not forget to sub and hit that gray bell so you can be notified whenever my videos post let's get into this guys so I really hope you're able to hear me clear I had to switch up my mic situation um, so if you are please let me know in the comments so I can make sure I do this next time so vocals will be on point all right Today we are going to be talking about how to manifest your SP extremely fast. This is a simple technique that I use all the time and it works for me non-stop. So a lot of people are not aware, especially if you're new to the law of attraction and law of assumption, that you literally manifest in any state that you're in. So whether you're mad, you're upset, you're sad or happy, you can manifest in that state. And you can manifest your person in that state. So let's say, for example, you and your person had a situation where you guys broke up for some reason or you stopped talking or you stopped communicating and maybe it was something they did that you didn't feel they should have done or it was something they felt you did and he he or she felt you shouldn't have done it whether it was both sides one side or the other doesn't really matter if you decide in that relationship to move on and say deuces i'm not going to do this anymore then here's what normally happens in the process so the first initial emotion that you have when you break up with somebody or things don't go your way is anger everybody is aware of that for some people anger is more sad some people are angry is angry and for some people it's a little bit of both or I'm angry then I'm sad or I'm sad then I'm angry the point of the matter is that's normally the first emotion when you break up with someone correct so what do you do you decide it's better if I move on I love this person but this person doesn't want to reciprocate the energy I'm giving them so I'm gonna move on for my sake for my heart for my body for my soul for my spirit so do you see where we went from there we went from person to you that is exactly what life is is all about life is about teaching us how to have a relationship with ourselves because when you learn how to have a relationship with yourself you're then able to have that relationship with other people and that is what forms good solid relationships is understanding yourself that's the key to all of this and a lot of people don't realize that they think to themselves for whatever reason that everything is about the outside of you because that's what we're taught since childhood days but it's not about what's going on on the outside of you it's what's going on on the inside with you that's going to show you how you respond to others it's going to show you what why you're relationship relationships are the way they are that is going to show you why you are loved and cared for and important to people that is going to show you why you remain like I don't know in people's mind the way you do the point of the matter is you have to have a good emotion a good solid belief system about yourself if you're trying to manifest things from others it all starts within you, okay? And so that's why when you break up with someone, the first initial thing that you realize is like, once you get past the anger or sadness or whatever, uh, because you had an expectation about that situation, which obviously didn't follow through. And so now you, you started to internalize and you started to realize like, you know what, I deserve better. I don't know what it was that person did to you. I don't know what it was that you may have done to them. But the point of the matter is you got to a point or a realization that it would be better without them. And then what did that force you to do? It forced you to look into yourself. It forced you to say, hey, I'm not going to be in this situation with this person any longer. I'm going to move on. I'm going to let go. I'm going to do what's best for me because I deserve that. That is self-love. And so a lot of people don't see it that way because when bad shit is going on in our life, nobody can really see through that clearly the first time. It takes a lot of practice. It takes a lot of patience and it takes a lot of years. That's why they say maturity sometimes for some people comes with age. Not everybody like that, but you know, y'all know what I mean. Let me know in the comment section if you know what I mean because it's just some people who's like older than me and they still don't get it. I'm just like, Lord. When is the maturity going to hit? Okay, anyway. So the point of the matter is, guys, if you get to a point of self-appreciation and love, that's just another way of your higher self telling you, girl, you got your heart broke. How many times are you going to do this again and again and again and again? This is your higher self and your spirit guys talking to you. You need to choose you. So it always gets bottled down to you at the end of the day because even if things were all on cloud 20 with your person, right? Everything's cloud 20. They love you. You love you. You know why they love you? Because you love you. And so when things are on cloud 20 with your person, that is why. Because you love you. And so you get it. You get it. There's no there's no anxiety. There's no fear. There's no none of that showing up unless you decide to make it come up. But for the most part, people's cupcake stage can last years. It can last decades. I'm one to advocate for it. I've been married for four years now. You know, yeah, from the time I'm recording this, it's four years fully at this point. But the point of the matter is, uh, we also been together for, for eight. So half of that... I already knew a good like portion of who my person was and the other half was like yo 
he's my daddy, my, my baby daddy, he's my baby daddy, and he's my husband. And so our relationship is great. It's always been great. We've had outside people get into our relationship or try to get between our relationship. We've had um, infidelity issues more on my side, not really his. Uh, that's a long story, but I'm very transparent on my channel. And the reason I am, and I say infidelity, but nobody cheated. It wasn't on no like, don't be over here in my comments like, oh, you're a cheater. You're breaking homes up type shit. Like, it's not that deep. Okay. It's just when you are with someone long enough. And to my people who've been with people for a very long period of time, I know what I'm talking about. Uh, things change. Your thought process changes. Your mind changes. This person changes. And so these shifts, that's normal in a relationship because you're growing with someone. I, when I met my husband, I was 19 years old. And I was not thinking to myself, oh my God, this is going to be my husband. This is going to be my baby daddy. No, I was like, oh, he's a nice looking guy. Like, I'm going to talk to him. I'm going to start dating him. Like, yeah. Like, that was it. That was, there was no... Oh, I see my whole future with you, you know? So things came into themselves. We've had financial issues. We've had financial growth. We've had so many outside forces, family problems. The list goes on. We've dealt with a lot because we've been together for almost a decade. So that's life. Life is going to create changes. It's going to create shifts. But how you know if someone's meant to be in your life and how to manifest them Simply put is by actually internalizing where you're at, figuring out where you're at. That's why when you break up with someone or something goes bad or you hit the fan, you're like, yo, I don't have to put up with this. I can choose to love myself, be happy with myself and have a happy life. I don't have to choose to be miserable. That's the whole point, right? So with the reason we get to that is because it's your higher self bringing you back to self, that's all. Because somewhere along the ride of you and this person, you lost yourself. I mean, this is another way to say it. You got lost in the woods, you walked in the woods. You normally knew left turn, right turn, straight turn, you know what I'm saying? And, but you went in the woods and you got lost. And so all the higher self is trying to do is bring you back to the right the right trail because you on the wrong one. You, you just got on the wrong one, that's all. And so all that means is you, you were open and receptive at some point in this relationship for whatever reason, whether it's what this person told you or what happened, it really doesn't matter. At some point, you took the wrong trail, okay? And that trail ended up being fear, anxiety, depression, the list goes on, okay? Worry from past relationships, the list goes on, okay? And so when you were on that wrong trail, what did you expect? You expected to not eventually have to come back to yourself? Yourself is the person you're gonna die with. This is your body, you are a soul inside of a body. That You are you, you have to come first. Technically, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't have time to think about myself. I'm a good person, all I think about is other people, all I care about, well, that's really bad. Because how are you filling someone else's cup if yours is empty? That means you're not actually filling your cup. You're not filling their cup because you don't got anything to give. So you think you're giving them something, but really you're giving them a fake facade of who you really are. You can only give someone who you really are if your, your freaking cup is actually filled. Like, think about it from this perspective. Let's say there's this person with a, a cup of tea and I'm the person with a cup of tea, but my tea isn't in the cup yet. I don't have no water in there. But the other girl do, okay? We both can choose to say, I'm gonna fill your cup up, Jimmy. Jimmy, you deserve to have your cup filled. So we pour into his cup, me with my empty cup, her with her tea cup. She actually is able to give Jimmy love and compassion and treatment. I'm not because mine's empty, but I'm I'm telling Jimmy, I'm filling your cup up, Jimmy. I'm filling your cup. I'm there for you. And Jimmy's looking at me like, how the hell can you be there for me when she's giving me actual juice? You giving me nothing but air. Let that sink in. So all I'm trying to tell you guys is that when you want to manifest your person super fast, you have to bring it back to self. And that is why when we break up with folk, we end up having to go back to ourself because that is what it's all about at the end of the day. Is 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 whoever you are, who however you treat yourself is how your relationships and everything else on the outside is going to show up is based on you and your perception of self. So if you want to manifest your person fast, make sure that you love yourself, that you are so individually, compassionately, sensitively there for yourself. Because I kid you not, that is why everyone in the manifesting community talks about quote unquote detachment. Okay, that is why we talk about that because people say all the time, I don't know what it is, but I broke up with my person. Like when I'm trying to act 
actually manifest them. It's so hard. But when I break up and I let go and I don't give a fuck about them no more, it's like now that here they are blowing up my phone. Now they want to talk to me. Now they miss me. Now they throwing shots on social media, giving me attention. Where was this attention when I was manifesting you? The attention wasn't there because you were so focused on the outside and 3D circumstance of this person rather than focusing on the inside of where you were at and what you needed to fill your cup up so they way, that way their cup could be filled. And so that is why, my dear, when you say deuces, they come in. That is why that happens. That is why it's called detachment because you no longer give a F about what happens in the 3D with this person because you said deuces. <laughs> okay, so... That is the key. That is the method. If you want to manifest your person faster, you have to love yourself. You have to be able to fill your cup. You have to like who you are on the inside. Now have a facade that you love who you are because those are two different things. That's why I said we're not talking about arrogance. We're not talking about narcissism. Okay, that is a whole different boat that is coming from insecurity. That is coming from mental disabilities. That is coming from a deeper trauma. I'm referring to just loving who you are, who God, who God, who the universe created you to be. That is way different than oh, I'm I'm I don't I don't have no problem. I'm confident. I'm this. I'm that. The world. No, I'm that girl. I'm that guy. Like it's deeper than just. It's deeper than that. Just a bit deeper than that, guys. It's not so. What's the word? It's not so. Uh, sorry, there's a hair on my face. It's not so face value. It's not so 3D. Is the best way I can describe it. It's more of an internal love that is forever there. No matter if you're 50 with your person, 20 with your person, 12 with your person, it's not going to go anywhere because it's 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 genuine. You get you catch my drift, guys. It's 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 meant to be genuine, and so that's exactly what it is. If you guys want to manifest faster, get the manifest everything journal. This journal is badass. I kid you not. I don't. I'm not even going to like tell y'all why it's badass. You need to just you just need to get it, and you're gonna look inside it yourselves, and you're gonna see that, like exactly what I mean. I literally mass manifest everything I want within a day. I have so many different success stories to talk to you guys about now, and I'm really excited to do videos on that. So if you're new here and you made it this far, welcome. Go ahead and hit the up in the gray bell you are now soul gym now because you made it this far so you must like it here so welcome to the intuitive soul tribe we're sending you lots of love lots of light lots of positive energy you got this okay if you guys need any assistance or you know just plain old coaching for manifesting faster anything i got you you can book a time with me the links are in the description below and feel free guys to also do email coaching i offer that as well so i send videos basically giving you advice on whatever it is you're telling me so check all those links out they are in the description and if you haven't became a vip soul jimmy light group yet definitely consider it you will love it there i have a lot of coaching material in there and on top of that we also do lives every week and we do member only videos you'll have access to all 12 part series on my channel and you'll have access to literally every video on my channel before it's publicized so if that's something you're into go ahead and click that join link below and you can become a vip member yourself i'm seeing you guys so much love so much i as I always tell you guys man go get your moolah and go get your boo bye